can just go anywhere in Europe now. This would be a really good intro to my vlog. Engagement ring. So disaster has Loki struck. Holiday look. For a long day, I'm obsessed. Seed cycling. Nutritional goals. As if I could buy this house. My little paranormal story. Dusted and polished these off. Hey. In this episode of We Can Just Go Anywhere in Europe now, Valencia, we go. Good to be back, Ryanair. Okay, we're here for a very short stint. We only have two full days, but I'm gonna attempt to show you what I'm wearing while I'm here. I go by it so fast, I wanna be present, but I'm going for a Balmezcal theme today. I just wanna be comfortable and cute at the same time. We're gonna meet Ruth for lunch now. I have her engagement ring, which is so exciting. We're staying in Old Town, so I think we're gonna go get tapas a beer, walk around. I really wanna try and squeeze in some galleries and art today, so hopefully we're gonna do that. Elements don't necessarily go together, but in a weird way, the way you wear them kind of brings the harmony to it. Got my little vintage leather weaved shoes, which I recently had resold because they were in bits. The O'Neill's shorts, our kept suede bag, an old Max Mara kind of tank top, which I thrifted and I have just, worn so much since i got it so that's the outfit maybe kind of slightly extra sunglasses but mostly just for like the eye coverage these ones really cover my whole eye and a cute little hoop earring so that's day one day one i might wear like a really nice outfit later that's beautiful that's amazing from a vending machine condoms from a vending machine oh wow oh there it is <laughs> <laughs> Lucky dip, perhaps? Not sure, not sure. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. <gasps> My baby, can you cope? A custom ring. Sorry, what? What gemstones are in it? Sorry, so Jeremiah is a uh, Gemini. Sorry. <laughs> Explain this. He's uh, born in May, so that's emerald. Yes. I'm born in November. Uh, Jerry, it's left there. Left. <laughs> It's no. a lighter situation, and then two rubies for the romance, fertility, passion, and love, and, and gold. Rubies for Ruthie Ruby. Am there I right? we are. <gasps> She's engaged. Woo! I've lost her. I've lost her. Ruth said this would be a really good intro to my vlog. This would be a really good intro to my vlog. Stand. No. Oh. Into it. Yeah. Fab. Oh, here, look at this, Valencia oranges on the vine. Whilst on our way to drink and die from Agua de Valencia, which is Valencia oranges. Don't go to apparently. Gin, vodka, sugar water. Get in there. This is the funniest thing ever. Yeah, go on, go for it. I'm going to do a trick here now that I learned in New York. Straight turn. That's the trick. Oh my god. I'm just doing the same earrings, this mango by Cedrus top Spanish brand. I cannot pronounce it for the life of me, but yeah, I just think it works really well with this little skirt. The bag that I wear with everything that I'm trying not to wear, I'm trying to wear my new bags, but it really does just go quite perfectly. So who am I to judge? This is my very Ruthie Ruby inspired outfit for honestly, Tacos and Marks. We're going on a bit of a, a tour around Rusafa. A great first day so far. We 
always find a place to dance when we tired. Just having a little walk about seas. I have to say, I highly recommend staying in this neighborhood. Like I didn't really do much research. I just let the intuition lead on booking.com. And the actual building is in Plaza del Carmen. It's in a really good spot in sort of the old town area. Spanish cities are so nice as well because they're so familiar, like the way that they're built, the architecture, you kind of feel very at home and the layouts feel quite familiar. This place nearly ended me. It was a recommendation that Ruth had from a local. Agua de Valencia, it's over there. They're having it, you get a drug bit. Ruth and her fiance are living in a different neighborhood. So we're kind of like zipping back and forth and meeting in between and walking, you know, from here to there. Oh my God, look at this. You know, when you just look up and you see this. So disaster has low-key struck. A brilliant night out, like a really, really wholesome, just good time. Booked the Uber at two, we were on our merry way. We were feeling very tipsy and very fun. You know when you're just having those like romantic strolls through a city at night when it's really dead and you're with your lover and you're just soaking it all in. My boyfriend picked me up on the footpath to bring me to the other side because at this point I had gone barefoot. And it was all fun and games until he slipped in like fresh vomit, took me down with him. I landed on top of him. He really did break my fall to be fair. Luckily we had some painkillers at the house last night, but I'm out to get more. He's gotten a pretty bad injury for himself. So it is unfortunate, so sad. He's so disappointed, but look, these things happen, what can you do? What do you mean I also forgot to tell you the part where I subsequently fell in the vomit? That lovely red top I was wearing, yeah, it was all over the back. <laughs> Cannot recommend Valencia enough. Oh, stunning. We are only meant to be here for today and then we were gonna go home at like something crazy, like 4 a.m. in the morning. So we're only losing one day off our trip. It was a short trip. I think everyone else is at the, at the beach today, yes. Stunning, stunning vibes all around. <laughs> final night, final outfit. There's my poor boyfriend's injured foot. There's also kind of like a mini festival going on outside. So very chaotic energy seeping through. So I'm gonna do this nice and quick. And a little brown and black moment I don't mind clashing the colors and just a slouchy holiday look just my weekday linen pants I'm wearing the same sort of weavy shoes which is old boob tube there's a look at my makeup today just glowy I just put like a little bit of the minimalistic from Merit just like in the center because it kind of doubles as a concealer but then I like to leave everything else kind of clear and natural I tend to do a lot of eyebrow emphasis and lips on holiday because I couldn't be bothered doing eye makeup like taking off mascara after a long day not really for me and I didn't even pack gel what I've been doing is packing this guy and it's been coming so in handy it's actually my brow product but the got to be gel that's in the spoolie form no one wants to be going out running around for gel so I just find that when I'm having a shower before my night out I'll sort of wet my hair a little bit brush everything through, tighten it all up, and then finish off with a little bit of this gel. The proper version of the Got To Be styling gel is literally a rock hard gel. If you need gel that does not move, that's your bet. But this gives kind of a lighter hold and a similar, similar effect. So yeah, it's a very good travel multi-use product. Music is a little less chaotic now, but that's the outfit. I'm going to be going solo. Okay, out of all of the outfits, go on. Which one Which one did it for you? Anyway, I had a lovely time. I think we'll probably end this segment of the vlog here. And despite everything that happened, I think we still fitted in a lot. I feel like I saw a lot. of a great trip and it was very special for lots of reasons. Obviously bringing Ruth's engagement ring over was such an honor, but... But she also asked me a very special question. 
while I was here and my heart feels very full. You look good. Yeah. We do, yeah. I'm almost restraining myself at the moment with all of the things that I'm interested in and want to share. That sounds like you and you feel like it's time to step out and share your gifts or your talents or maybe you just have something to say or write. Maybe it's time you carved out your slice of the internet and I cannot recommend today's sponsor enough. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can design every facet of a website from start to finish using their very easy to use beginner friendly templates. You can get an extremely professional and beautiful looking website up and running in no time. Whether it be an online store or like I have with loversunday.com or maybe you just need an outlet to write about what you're passionate about. Blogging is how I started doing all of this. Whatever it is you need, Squarespace has you covered. All of my viewers have a two-week free trial to play around. It's squarespace.com slash tarmer. It's in the top line of my description. If you do like your website, you can always get 10% off all future billing with code tarmer. Thank you so much for listening. Let's get back to the vlog meeting my friends at this cute little cafe in Longstown near me that I have been in ages and it's next to one of my favourite houses. If I could buy this house, I would. How cute, right? So I haven't been here in a long time, so I hope the coffee's still good. It's under new management, but this is the house. Isn't it just divine? I absolutely love it so much. It's an artist studio. Yeah, it's so nice. You can go in and like check out the art. The artist lives there, but like they have all these cute little seats come up from the cafe and yeah, I love it here. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of those mornings where breakfast just seems like a vessel to get me to coffee. I got my coffee habits down so well. I was down to just one. Recently, I've kind of been leaning towards two, but I've been trying to make the second one decaf now and get back to where I was. The way that coffee works best for me through nutritional science bits that I found out. After a half 11, 12 if possible, and 100% after food. I don't have any weird energy crashes or dips. I kind of just feel normal throughout the day and it's like, ooh, a little treat. But anyway, this is breakfast. I made chia seed pudding with skir yogurt. I know I hate yogurt, but I heard the skir has the highest protein content. There's also some nuts in the chia seed pudding but um, seeds are a really easy way to add protein. There's probably seven grams of protein of seeds alone in here, and then obviously, I would say that that's maybe the best chia seed pudding I've ever had. Like I have not had a raspberry that juicy and plump in the longest time, and they're sweet. There's no tartness in them whatsoever. Yes, it is a thrill to be me every day, excited about the littlest things. I don't know, I think it comes from a, a genuine gratitude for life. So update, my friend bought me a beautiful dahlia. Here is the progress on the flower bed. I thought it would be fun to go on this journey together to kind of update you as they grow. Cosmos came up honestly, as I told you, after a few days and it was so satisfying to see them. They've been getting a little taller and a few more spread it up. They are being quickly outrun by the sweet peas, which are these more straight ones. Like, look at this one. Honestly, you feel like such a plant mother right now. My pride is bursting. Yeah, stay tuned for the next installment of Chaos Gardening. Oh, I've honestly been coming out here every morning and being obsessed with their beauty. And so I've kind of started talking about food. I thought I would show you the next step in my healing evolution, and that is finally printing one of these off. It's a um, cycle sort of diet guide, not sort of diet, but more like the different um, vegetables, meats, fish, nuts, things like that, that you can use for different parts of your cycle. I just bit the bullet and bought this one from Etsy, so I'll leave it down below. I really do think you should support the artist, the person that put it together. It was only, I think it was less than $2 uh, to buy. It was just a downloadable file on Etsy. Energy rundown, obviously, which part of the cycle on the top, and then all of the, the different food groups that will support you on different parts of your period cycles. So yeah, I don't know. I'm 31. I feel like I've been wanting to do this since I was like 28 or 29, especially seed cycling. Oddly enough, when I did the food shop, I kind of intuitively bought a lot of the foods which are supportive of the part of my cycle I'm in now, which is this, my energy is starting to come back. But the suggested nuts, i.e. seed cycling, were in this 
lovely little mix that you can get from Aldi. I'm trying to hold the camera really still for the girlies that just want to take notes. Intuitively at the moment I'm craving a lot of whole foods, especially after you've had like a bit of a junky week, you know, being on holiday. Wanting to come back to the simplest food I can. Look, in an ideal world, I wouldn't be having a technically processed chicken burger, but in Ireland, I feel like the quality of everything, like the standards, even in the cheap places to shop, like I get all of my meat from Aldi because it's convenient for us. And everything they have is like so tempting. It's all seasoned and marinated and tastes really good. And I think at the end of the day, for me at the moment, it's just picking what is actually going to make my life a little bit easier, but still hit my like loose nutritional goals. I felt this lighting was the perfect lighting to tell you about my my little paranormal story. I don't get ones this good that often. At least twice now I've kind of mentioned in the vlogs that, you know, we moved into an old house that was like newly renovated, but it's like been here forever. We have been the first people to live in this house since it's been renovated. So I've said from quite a while back now that when we moved in, you know, it wasn't, bad vibes by any means, but it was definitely not the most welcoming energy. I don't know how to put it. I've got like a little tingly sixth sense and as I'm getting older, it's getting a little bit clearer. So I think I slipped it in there once or twice somewhere, but I didn't really make a big deal of it. I just, in my own private practice, I was definitely working to smoke cleanse my home, you know, in meditation, things like that, just to like really infuse the space with like lots of protection and lots of boundaries, energetic boundaries. And it's not like there was a crazy paranormal activity, but there was a few things, like one of the things that I noticed that we were gone for a day or two and we came back and the handle on the fireplace was just like, it's a heavy metal handle. To like unhook it off of the fireplace door for it to come off. It was just lying on the floor when we got back to the house like a few days later. But up to our previous visits, like when we were first starting to move in, I had said to my boyfriend like, do you feel like, I feel like we're not quite alone. I don't feel like it's like a rampant with energy, but I just, I don't know, I feel like there is like eyes on me a little bit or watching, watching what you're doing, watching what you're up to, you know? I addressed it a few times, I was like, look, if there's anything here, we are friendly, we are respectful to this space, I appreciate that it might have been yours, but if you were from the outside, stay out. If you're someone that has lived here before, I respect you, but like this is our space now. I drew all of those kind of energetic boundaries along with all of the other work that I did. Honestly, I was just covering my ass, I was speaking, to whoever might be here, like they were people, you know, asking for rallying the ancestors in, you know, if they could kind of help. Personally, I always felt like it was a older woman energy in the house. Like I felt like it was someone that lived here. And obviously like, you know, it's a family home that's very plausible, but I was very, very specific with the energy that I felt like it was. I felt like it was an older woman. Anytime I did envision anything here, like that's what I envisioned. I envisioned like an older woman, you know, a lady of the house. This is my house type vibes. And I even have confirmation from a text message that I sent Jenny, Jenny Claffey from Red Room, which is just like so, so apt that it was Jenny. But we were talking, you know, she moved into her new house. We were talking about like the energy of her new places. And she said hers was like really good energy. And the, oh, it was May, May 25th. So I got it time stamped here. But here I said, I think I was making a joke uh, when she said the energy at her house was good. I said, oh, no traumatic murders or deaths. <laughs> Felt like I had a bit of a woman in the house feeling for a while, like a who are you type energy. But I think I've burned a factory worth of incense and cleansing players and I think they've gotten the boot. Show it on here very often, but I do have quite a dark sense of humor. Thursday, 6th of June. Yesterday, I was talking to my lovely, lovely neighbor so so fond of them we love them but i got chatting to her at the doorstep as you do do my neighborly things and she actually told me about the old owner of this house because she has been here like over 20 years maybe like going on 30. she said this house and the house two doors down 
these two cousins lived in each so one woman in each these women and they each were married to captains i think in the navy she said my window like you can see the naval base the story goes that they were given these houses like through the navy i guess um who own property and they were given these places to live at a very low rental cost both the captains died and left these women widowed like i said the women were cousins but they were basically given the houses to stay in for a very low rent and the agreement was they could stay there until they died but to me that made so much sense to have that like matriarchal woman of the house figure I'm sure that was quite like a sad and lonely experience i don't know it really number one validified the energy that i was reading which has only happened once ever i find that when you get these details it humanizes the potentiality of you having like a lingering ghost a bit and it just gives you something to direct your energy towards to address and be respectful towards i want to try and find out her name and i don't know maybe put something in the house or out the back in the patio to kind of remember her by obviously like i've had experiences over the years thank god they're like not intense they're all things that i feel like i'm interested in that i can handle yeah, i'm not trying to flex those psychic muscles anytime soon the thing is intuition and i'm okay with sticking with that not the ghosts waking me up at 3 a.m kind of vibe that was my paranormal story time i hope you enjoyed it if for some reason you have not subscribed yet please do me the honor tune in every other week and pretty much every day over on my instagram please entertain me if you guys have any paranormal stories or just like things that make you like gave you shivers or made your spine tingle i would love to read them please pay it forward